all of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong. Being a celebrity sometimes comes with, like, everybody wants to be successful in a celebrity and stuff like that, but it comes with, you know, sometimes and you know that's the only thing that I hate about it. Chill, just when we thought we were wrapping up this whole Surviving Diddy series, Cat Williams just came out and spilled some major tea about how industry men like Diddy forced and ruined young and upcoming artists. And one of the names that popped up was that of Bashir Gray, who was allegedly ruined by Diddy and Will Smith. According to the streets, Bashir was taken advantage of by Diddy and Will Smith, and he's reportedly given up to file an explosive $50 million lawsuit against them. Reports also claim that the mistreatment he faced in the industry caused his mental breakdown and eventually forced him to leave Hollywood for good. The crazy part about this is, before Kat came out to spill the tea, Jaguar Wright spoke about this over a year ago when she said Brashear was one of the many young men who ran out of Will's house screaming for help. Not powerful, Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Now, we all know that the allegations about Diddy forcing young men in the industry into some very bizarre and ritualistic freak-off parties ain't nothing new. From him allegedly essaying Usher and Justin Bieber, to him sending YK Osiris on trips to Jamaica and hooking up with him, the allegations just get worse by the day. However, Cat Williams just set the internet on fire during an explosive interview with Shannon Sharp, where he exposed most of the industry men, including Kevin Hart, Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, and Ludacris. During the interview, Cat recalled the time where Harvey Weinstein tried to force him to indulge in a freak-off session in exchange for a movie role. Cat was not rocking with the BS, so he declined. He later found out that a bunch of other black men had been casted for the same movie, and that's when he realized that they forced all these black men into the these freak offs for job opportunities. I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get that? <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. As soon as Kat revealed this, people started speculating about if this is why Brashear disappeared from the industry shortly after he started hanging out with Will Smith and Diddy. People claim that just like Kat, Brashear was also allegedly forced into the freak offs in exchange for roles, but at some point he tried to expose the whole truth, and that's when he got blackballed. Now, as most of y'all already know by now, Brashear was first discovered by a talent manager named Charlie Mack, who later became his manager. Charlie pulled a couple strings and got Brashear a chance to audition for the role of Hakeem Lyon in Empire. He ate that audition down and was later cast to be in the show. As we all know, the show went on to be a huge hit, and Brashear's career blew up, so Charlie later introduced Brashear to Will Smith to mentor him into becoming a big Hollywood star. Now this is where things get a little interesting, because you would think that after this, Brashear was going to become the next big thing in Hollywood, but the start of his mentorship with Will Smith was actually going to be his end. Right after Brashear was given to Will, Will also introduced Brashear to Diddy, because Brashear wanted to be a rapper. At the time, many people didn't realize how disturbing 
thing this link up was because we didn't know about half the things that Diddy and Will were actually doing today. In fact, there have been rumors going around for a while now that Diddy and Will are both on the DL and they've been getting freaky with each other and dragging other young men into it in the name of mentorship. Now, this was first revealed by David Arquette, who revealed in a Facebook rant that Will was actually gay and that his first marriage to Cherie Zampino ended because she caught him in bed with another man. When Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked in on him servicing his sugar daddy, Benny Medina, then I will listen to them. The crazy thing is, Jaguar Wright also said the same thing not too long ago when she revealed that Will lures these young men into these freak ops by lying to them and saying he's gonna mentor them. She even recalled the time where Brashear and Meek Mill reportedly ran out of Will's home screaming for help. By they do weird things in their house and young men have left their house Screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray. <laughs> left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed and I guess he was really sick. He needed the help. Jaguar also alluded to Will possibly doing the exact same thing to his son, Jaden, and claiming that this is probably why Jaden decided to move out of the house when he was just 15 years old. People have collectively, including Will Smith, let's not leave him out. Why your son hates you? Why does your son hate you? What did you do to Jaden? The reason why people were giving Will the side eye when Jaguar revealed this was because he made no effort to deny it, but was quick to threaten a lawsuit against his former assistant who claimed he caught Will in bed with Dwayne Martin. So let me get this straight. Will had no problem with Jaguar accusing him of essaying multiple young men, but he has a problem with Bilal speaking the truth about him getting freaky with Dwayne make it make sense. Now, when it comes to Brashear's mentorship with Diddy, a lot of people found it weird how his rap career never took off, despite having a mogul like Diddy mentoring him. The story gets even creepier when you find out that shortly before Brashear was handed over to Diddy for this supposed mentorship, Diddy was already under investigation for allegedly sleeping with young boys. According to a US court filing from 2013, during a debriefing session with with federal investigators James Roseman, the music manager turned in, was reportedly questioned about the preferences of entertainers, including whether Sean Diddy Combs was having relationships with underage boys. And then there was Cassie's lawsuit, which exposed Diddy for forcing her into freak ops with male escorts while he recorded it. The lawsuit undoubtedly opened the doors for more victims to come forward, and fans believe that Brashear is one of those victims. After Empire ended, Brashear's career quickly went down the drain. He's been arrested multiple times, with the latest being in 2022, when he was found guilty for aggravated assault against a woman he was hooking up with at the time. But this wasn't his first run-in with the law because back in 2020, his wife was rescued by a man at a nearby gas station after she had gone there asking for help. The woman told police that Brashear had strangled her and put his hands on her multiple times till she lost consciousness. When police pulled up to his house to arrest him, he refused to get out of the house. It took hours of negotiations between the SWAT team and Brashear to get him out. And when his mugshots were released, people couldn't help but to point out how different he looked. This was when people started to piece together everything and realize how much damage the industry had actually caused him. Ray, one of the stars of the hit show Empire. Tonight, we're seeing hours of new video from his July arrest that ended with his wife flagging down police and telling them the actor had assaulted her for hours inside their Goodyear home. Now, even though Brashear is the only one responsible for his actions and his rapid decline in Hollywood, most people also speculate that he was probably acting out because of all the trauma he went through. What makes this even more disturbing is that prior to this downward spiral, Brashear was actually doing pretty good for himself. He had a few sleeper hits here and there. He was getting booked for small shows and having multiple TV appearances, but all of that suddenly stopped out of nowhere. His music 
music was no longer getting played on the radio, he was barely getting playlisting, and no director wanted him on their show. It was clear as day that he had been blackballed, but at the time, nobody really knew who would have blackballed him. And with the new revelations being made by Cat Williams, it looks like Bashir was indeed preyed on and used by these industry men. As for Bashir, he's still a hot mess right now, and he hasn't been in the spotlight for long. But word on the street is, he's preparing to file a $50 million lawsuit against Diddy and Will. This was revealed by a blind item, which said, I suspect the soon to step forward male victim of by this A-list mogul will not be the last man to do so, Sean Diddy Combs. Chow, this whole situation is a mess, and honestly, it's really sad to see how Diddy and Will broke Bashir down to pieces and threw him out of the industry when they were done with him. Now, as usual, fans had a whole lot to say about this mess, and they wasted no time airing them out. One person said, Bashir Gray is a giant young talent, and they absolutely ruined him. You could see his quick decline along with other young talents. These monsters need to be completely stopped by any means necessary. Another person said, this just saddens me that these music and movie moguls would be this evil to prey on these young men like this. These were children and to victimize a child is beyond disturbing. They really need to be held accountable for their inhumane actions. Get these young men therapy. But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Cat Williams exposing the industry for preying on and using Brashear? And do y'all think Brashear is really gonna pull through with this reported $50 million lawsuit against Diddy and Will? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other messy video.